Good morning everybody and welcome back to another moving vlog. So today is a beautiful, beautiful Friday and thank goodness this weather has changed here in the UK. We've had some lovely weather recently now in June. It is good because in this vlog, as you would see from the title, we are doing a bit of landscaping on the house. I know. So if you are new around here, hello, my name is Amy. I have got a whole series of moving vlogs on this channel. They are so fun. They're all about how I have progressed and moved from my parents' home into my first ever home, which happens to be a absolute dream home for me, which we are really have made this house into a home. And that whole video process is these vlogs. So we will be changing the title soon. I've had some really good suggestions from you guys, by the way, in the last couple of videos. So thank you so much if you contributed. I will be changing the name soon because as I said, moving is moving. Whereas now we are kind of like developing the house. So I've just been doing some emails this morning, but I wanted to hop on and start the vlogs because as it is this weekend, we are going to be doing the starting of the landscaping. We've got planned for two weekends. We're going to be basically laying our own patio. Now, I am not a landscaper, but I am a very good DIY girl, and so is Andy. Whenever we want to do something, before we pay somebody to do it, we want to see if we can do it ourselves. There are certain jobs, especially when you've bought a new house that you guys will understand, if you're homeowners yourself, there are certain jobs that you just know that perhaps are worth paying a tradesman for because you don't want to really mess it up, and there's some things you can afford to mess up and try again and other things you can't really. I wanted to show you guys today what the garden is looking like. So today we have actually got a skip coming along. <sighs> Andy was looking down at me. I have, we have actually ordered a skip because, fun story, we tried to start to do this last weekend. And I literally thought that we could dig up this huge, it, well I say huge, it's not even very big. But a patch of earth and put it in like black bin liners and go to the tip. I was so wrong. This, <laughs> this is the state of our garden at the moment and it does make me so sad, but it's gonna look so good. So let me just put my shoes on and I will take you outside. This is the state of the garden at the moment. <laughs> We've got all of this turf here, which needs to come up. And as you might be able to see, if I head over here, it's a little bit easier to see. But this is the project we are working on. For now, what we're gonna do is, is we're going to be pulling up this turf all across here. So literally pull all that up. And as you can see, we have the slabs and we are gonna basically fill it in so we get a nice patio area there, which still leaves us with a really big section of grass here. Over here in these bags is some hardcore. So this is actually some that our friend had left over. It's about half a ton we've got there. And then today we have a skip coming, a four yard skip that's for earth only. And inside we've also ordered two tons of this stuff to go down and basically be the foundation of the patio. But what will be happening is, this is a very big section, and what's great is, is when the sun sets, this is the last area in the evening that the sun gets. So, this table and chairs will be going right here, which means then that's the front room. We can open the French doors and we can have like nice barbecues. We also have a brand new barbecue, so I'm thinking like this box here, which stores our lawnmower and stuff. Eventually, I want it to go in that little patch of grass there. This weekend, we're doing the groundwork. So we're gonna be putting the hardcore down. We need to go hire a compactor and compact it down. And then on next weekend, we've got my dad coming over to help us cut the slabs to size. Because obviously we're filling in a gap, there's some areas that are needing to be slightly cut and adjusted, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So my dad's actually got the resources and tools to do that, so he's gonna come over next weekend. So hopefully, by this time, not this time, by tomorrow, next weekend, we should have a patio, which is so exciting. I really love seeing, like getting a vision and seeing it come to life. So actually, I'll show you guys on SketchUp what this is. Now, I learned SketchUp in school. Um, if you don't know what it is, it was owned by Google. It might still be owned by Google. I'm not too sure, but it's a basically a 3D, 4D, 3D modeling system that you can do online. So I'm gonna show you a sketch, a 3D model of what the garden looks like. So this is the model I've created. Now I did have all the walls painted and stuff, but there's no need obviously to do that. It was more to do get the measurements exactly how I wanted it. So the gray section here, as you can see, is what already exists. And then this is just to work out how many tiles we need. So I made a mock tile over here 
which um, is the correct size. And then I have placed them in here where we can then use the measuring tool. So you get a little like tape measure and it tells you exactly how long you should need it to be. So yeah, it's, um, it's gonna be a fun weekend. Andy's very excited to dig the garden, aren't you? Yay! <laughs> just come back from a lunchtime four and a half K run and I have just done an ab workout out on my tiny bit of decking that I showed you guys just now because the sun's shining. So I was like, I don't wanna do this inside. So I literally just did an ab workout on that little square right there in my mat. But guess what got delivered, finally. We have our skip and our hardcore. It is terrifying to know I have paid lots of money for this. Anyway, this is a lot bigger than I was kind of expecting it, so we should have plenty of space to go ahead and put the all of this earth in. So I'm gonna go have a shower now and get into my nice comfy clothes. I'm just defrosting a burger for Andy to have tonight and then I've got my burger, which is a veggie burger, which is frozen already. And we're gonna be having a nice burger tonight. Look at him cleaning the window with his shirt. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today is dig day. It is currently 7.59, so eight o'clock. I'm going to wake up, Mister, with a cup of coffee. It is a beautiful day. It is due to be 20 degrees, full sun this morning. So definitely need to get that suntan lotion on because last night I did get a little bit bronzed, red. Take these up, have a little chill for five minutes, and then let's get on with the day. Okay, so I'm ready for the dig. I'm putting on a boob tube today because I ain't getting those tan lines. And now I'm gonna have a piece of toast. I don't usually eat breakfast, but Andy's telling me I need to eat breakfast today. So we're gonna have toast or my crumpet gone really bad. Because I quite like a crumpet. I have a feeling it's not gonna be good. Oh, we're good, okay. I'm gonna take my vitamins. So I take these every day. <clears throat> it's just cod liver oil, which is good for your brain development. Glucosamine, because my joints suffer whenever I go to the gym. I do a lot of high intensity and a lot of weight bearing exercises, so my joints do suffer. And then this is the worst one. It literally tastes horrible, but this is the Radiance multivitamin. Okay. To We're gonna get this done. Am I talking to myself? Don't worry. <laughs> Are you excited? Very. Excited for the dig? Very. I'm ecstatic. Ecstatically excited. It's been one hour and this is what we've achieved. So we have to shovel and wheelbarrow all of the hardcore from in here. We've got about a ton out we think, so this is one more ton. But there's not really going to be too much space left here because obviously we can't have it going down. I reckon we can get a few more there but we're just going to have to start piling it here. Okay, so the skip has been emptied all down the side here and now we're filling it up with the earth perfectly good grass but oh well But I don't dare to, I'm too fragile, and for that I do apologize. Maybe someday we can Okay, so all the grass is up. And now the hard bit starts getting all of this stuff up. There is so many hard stones. Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night, every night fall down in the middle of the night screaming. Okay, so as you just seen, we shoveled in the hardcore and this is the first layer and we've got that left and we've got still all of that left and the skip is completely full. However, we did not realize that the tall higher place is all closed, it's closed at 12, so we cannot compact this, which means we cannot put another layer, which means we have to leave it now. And I'm not feeling 
too impressed about that. I'm also looking very, very messy. But so we're gonna just have to do it in the week because my parents are coming over next weekend to help us actually lay the tiles. So <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed all the time lapse of our very hard work. It's been about five hours work we've done so far and I'm shattered. <laughs> Okay, so it is Thursday and we have just come back from hiring this thing. So, my shoes on and we're going to see if it works. It's going to be very loud. Oh no, that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, I was very wrong. It gets very loud. That was just a turn on. Oh wow, it does such a good job. It does, it does such a good job, look. Yeah, that's the point in it. Oh. Okay, so the next layer is compacted down and now Andy's just put in some string for the leveling. <sighs> okay, our compactor has just run out of petrol. So Andy is running to his dad's house, mum and dad's house, to get some more petrol because we need a jerry can to put it in and then he's going to get petrol. Um, <laughs> I totally didn't even realize. I gave blood not long ago, literally about an hour ago and I really shouldn't be doing very high strenuous exercise like this because you can obviously your body is like regenerating a lot of blood so you shouldn't do any sort of strenuous exercise for at least 24 hours they say but I just I can't help it bless Andy he is doing he just did the bulk of it because we've done one more compact layer and now on my own I'm going to go ahead and put some more hardcore down and rake it all out so when he comes back we can compact it again and fingers crossed that should be it for the evening and we should then just be ready to tile with my mum and dad on Saturday. My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do So this is all the sound we've got left of everything. I don't think we're going to use that because I feel like I'm just using it for the sake of it. Um, definitely this should be enough. So I'm still waiting on Andy. He's probably been gone like over an hour now. Um, so we'll see. And he is back. So last time, here we go. Hopefully. Last time. Okay, happy weekend everybody. It is Friday, Friday, and it is the evening. Finished work, it's about 5.30 now. And I've just taken the washing in. As you can see, I'm just putting the washing line back. So I wanted to jump on to show you. We picked up all of the sand and cement today. We got some sharp sand. This is from B&Q, which was the cheapest price for it. It was under two pound a bag. I think it was one pound 95. So we got eight of those. And then we got the blue circle general purpose cement and we've got two bags of those. So we are all ready for tomorrow morning and I am baking a coffee cake. I freaking fancied a coffee cake so I've uh, cooking that. I'm just waiting for the first one to come out which I'll take out now. And I'm having my fave. Hi little skinny bear. Happy weekend. Next clip you see we will be doing the patio. And we are doing the tiling! Finally! Mum's here, working hard. Working very, very hard. And Dad's helping us with this. Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless Coming along nicely. There we go. 
We've just been to B&Q and bought a lot more uh, sand and cement as well. But yeah, looking good. <laughs> Oh, we'll try that again. Take two. We do then also just have this little tiny gap to fill, but looking good. Take two. Nope. Take three. Ta-da! All finished and it looks amazing. So it's all done! Woo! Thank goodness to Dad. Thank you very much. Job well done. Woo! Good morning everybody. So it is the next day and I realised I never properly concluded the vlogs. So yes, obviously this is what the patio looks like today it looks great it will be about 24 hours obviously this evening by the time we finish so well my dad obviously I give a massive shout out he did an incredible job just blends in flawlessly so I gave the table a nice bleach down today cleaned all the chairs and everything and then that's gonna be going over here and also you might notice I did cut out a couple of astroturf things to cover up our drains which is pretty awesome so yeah the grass has suffered a bit all over here it's suffered quite a lot as well from all of the um from the cutting but this grass is actually all coming up because we had a, like a snag with the land so the um it's very uneven all of the garden <laughs> excuse the washing so actually they're pulling everything up and they're putting it back down again so that's why we thought it'd be quite a good idea to do the decking now so they can actually refine this line for us so that'll be brilliant so I am now going to be heading over to my mum and dad's. It is time to have pizza. And he's not feeling 100% today, so he's not coming. Not feeling too great. Not feeling too happy. So I'm gonna head over because it is currently going on two o'clock. And this one here just wants to rest, so gonna do that but thank you guys so much for watching this another episode of the moving vlogs and actually the last episode of the moving vlogs until i am changing the name so hope you've enjoyed the series it will keep coming it's going to be the same sort of stuff obviously just more of a vlog style more lifestyle and home content but apart from that guys i hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day week month wherever you're at and I will see you all in my next video. Remember to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't get miss you don't miss any uploads. And I will see you next time. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Ciao.